Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Wiley. I'm here in today's Fuji Friday. Got a couple of news bits to cover. I apologize for being late, but it's been another busy week. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first thing that I do want to talk about is there is a bunch of new firmware updates for lenses. I'll go ahead and just put it on the screen up here. There's really not that much to say here because they're minor firmware updates. That's according to Fuji and they really don't tell you what they're fixing because that's really all they say. This is actually kind of annoying because anytime that there is a firmware update I do like to know as much information as possible because when you update firmware there is a possibility that new bugs will get introduced to your camera system I would like to at least know like what camera body it affects is it all of them or is it just a select camera body that's actually getting affected with this lens firmware update if you do have one of these lenses it's probably a good idea to update the firmware but I can also see people not wanting to update the firmware because their lens works perfectly fine right now so really is up to you but definitely check those out if you do own one of these lenses and there is quite a bit of them the next news item to cover is that there's already people posting that they are starting to receive their xt4 so that's really great that means they're shipping out here in the united states i just went ahead and checked b and h and it looks like they're going to start shipping on may 11th so we are pushed back into may which is something that we were expecting and it looks like the fuji xt4s with the kit lenses they're pushed all the way to the beginning beginning of June so you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for that but right now I really don't mind because of the lockdown and because of how busy I am there's really not much that I can do right now anyways I am excited to actually get that camera body and try it out with all of the lenses that I have and I definitely will try to cover it in the vlog as soon as I can if you are in another country and you already have your X-T4 shipping please let me know because I would like to know which countries are getting their X-T4 if you are one of the people that did order an X-T4 hopefully you'll be getting yours very soon moving on to the next item we did get a little bit more information on the new fuji 70 to 300 millimeter lens that is being researched and developed here in 2020 it looks like the aperture on this is going to be an f4 to an f5.6 which makes it a really great enthusiast lens not quite a professional lens most professional lenses usually is a constant f4 or anything lower than that but those are usually very expensive but f4 to f5.6 5.6 that's actually very decent and it looks like it's going to be great competition for the Fuji 100 to 400 really excited to see what type of image quality we're going to get out of that one we really don't have any more information on the other three telephoto lenses but it really does feel like a lot of companies are kind of hitting the brakes on new product development so we're probably not going to be seeing a whole bunch of new products coming out in 2020 and if there is any it's going to be pushed back towards probably the Christmas season hopefully the economy would have recovered by then to where people are shopping a little bit more but it really remains to be seen how we're going to get out of this economic slump the last thing that i want to cover is a small little tidbit from fujirumors.com they actually did a great post on a roundup of all of the interviews really hitting all of the highlights so if you haven't watched all the interviews or if you just want the highlights of the interviews that's a great post because they really listed it down really well but one of the news bits that i didn't know about that i kind of missed was that currently there is no 50 60 or 70 megapixel phase detect sensor for the gfx cameras or any type of medium format camera so that's something that really fuji is going to have to develop i'm guessing in collaboration with sony because really to push the next generation of gfx cameras that kind of replace the current 50 megapixel gfx's they really do need a sensor with phase detect autofocus because that's really going to help not only for the photography side but also for the video side now for me to be interested in the next generation of cameras it really has to be good in video and right now the 50 megapixel ones really just aren't good enough hopefully they can actually do something to solve that because the gfx 100 while it is very good in case capable in video at ten thousand dollars i am saving up for one but i kind of wonder if it's really kind of too much of a niche camera to where even if i do get it there's really not going to be anybody kind of interested in watching content about that type of camera system because it's so expensive but i really do hope fujifilms is working on the next generation of gfx cameras that kind of falls in the four thousand to five thousand dollar range something that is affordable for enthusiasts like us but it remains to be seen but i figured that was a very interesting tidbit for me to share anyhow that's all i have this week i hope you have a great weekend i hope you're safe and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.